Hi everybody, this is Mr. Pete's. Um, so I am right now doing a screen recording of what I'm going to be looking for for your color wheel that you're going to be doing here on Google Drawings. All right, um, This is going to be pretty simple, uh, but I'm making this video so you can kind of follow along um, step by step um, just to kind of see how we're doing this. So you can see that you have sort of like a toolbar here um, over here on the top and then you have um, sort of this like blank canvas here you could see this slightly grayed checkerboard um, that grayed checkerboard is an indication on any digital uh, art software that this is transparent so um, if you want to put a full color for this background what you could do is if you're using a mouse uh, you can right click over the board and this pops up you can go over to background and then you can actually change the background itself. I'm going to come over here to this little white circle, click that and you can see that the entire background is now white. Okay, if you are using a laptop, uh, um, you can hold down control and then you can right click, I'm sorry, you can left click on your mouse so you can hit, can, sorry, let me say that again, you can control left click on your mouse and then the same thing will pop up okay and then again you can go to background so those are two different options to be able to get this little box to pop up alright if you're having issues with that just let me know um, but I want to make sure that you guys are able to do that um, last marking period there were some students that for some reason had a tough time doing that but if you need help with that just let me know okay so now we're gonna make the color wheel on here but we're gonna start off with a triangle so I'm gonna go over here to my shapes and you can see right here there's this little equilateral triangle so I'm gonna click that and then um, now that I have my shape ready I'm gonna hover over the page and as I do this I can actually I'm holding it I can actually make a big triangle like this alright if I bring it up I can make it really like flat or I can make it really tall um, but it's always going to be either isosceles or equilateral. Um, if you guys learned those in your math class, that's great. Um, okay, so I'm going to kind of make it about this size. Okay, and then when I let go, that happens. So that's great. Now I'm going to go over to the triangle tool. Actually, you know what? I'm going to, yeah, go over to the triangle tool again. So I'm going to grab another triangle. And I'm going to make another triangle over this. Uh, it doesn't have to be perfectly over it but kind of next to it. So I have two of these triangles and then you could see that there's this sort of grid box that's around it. There's like a little antenna here so I can actually grab this and uh, it can actually rotate it. So if I do that I'm actually I can turn the triangle completely upside down and then when I let go it's totally upside down. Then I'm gonna drag that over um, the other triangle so that you have sort of like a six pointed star or something that looks sort of like the star of David. Okay. And um, so that's what we have so far. This first triangle is going to be for your primary colors. This upside down triangle is going to be for your secondary colors. So now let's put in the primary colors first. So I'm going to work at just these three corners of this first triangle. Go over here, I'm going to grab a circle. Now I, I grab the little circle tool and I'm just going to kind of put a little circle right over it just like this. One. And I'm going to make another circle. So I'll go over the shape, grab another circle. I'm going to put another one right over here. And then I'm going to do the same exact, whoops, do the same exact thing again over here for my other side. Okay, so now these are going to be changed to the primary colors. So first, I'm going to take this one. I'm a, I highlighted it, so I grabbed it, made sure the arrow tool is click, and then I hit that. And then I can come over here, and I have these two things here. I have fill color, and I have border color. If I go to my fill color, I'm going to choose yellow. So my first primary color is going to be yellow. The second primary color over here, I'm going to make that red. So I clicked it to highlight it, went to my fill color, and then I'm going to come over to red. And I'm going to do my third primary color for this one, which is going to be blue. Go to fill color, and I will choose blue. 
Okay, once I click off of it, right now I just have the primary colors. So now I want to do the secondary colors. So that means that in between yellow and red, on this point of the upside down triangle now, this point, if we mix yellow and red paint, we get orange. So I'm going to grab my circle tool and I'm going to put a circle over here. And you know what? I'll just do the other ones as well. Uh, whoops. I'll do the third circle, shapes, little circle, and I'll come over here. All right. I'm not looking for it to be perfect. Like this one's a little too big, but I don't really care. Okay. So I'm going to go highlight this one. And like I said before, uh, yellow and red, when you mix them, you get orange. So I'm going to go to my fill color and I'm going to choose orange. And then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to use this bottom one. If I see blue and red, blue and red, when you mix them, you get violet. So I'm going to go to fill tool and I'm going to go to my violet. And then yellow and blue, when you mix those, I'm going to hold, click that, fill color. And of course that makes green. All right. So now I have the primary colors and I have the secondary colors. The last thing I want to do is in between these, there are six other colors we got to put. Those are your tertiary colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle and I'm going to put a, just a little circle in between those. So I'm going to go ahead and do that um, for each one. I think you guys at this point probably get exactly what we're doing, but you can see that there are six tertiary colors because they fit right in between um, all of these other primaries and secondaries. Okay. And then as you guys can recall, the tertiary colors are usually a two named color, like yellow, green, blue, violet, and so on. Okay. Those, you know, are your tertiary colors. And by making this, you're also demonstrating to me that you, um, understand what the color wheel should look like. Okay, so I have all of the tertiary little circles in here now. There should be six new circles that are right in between. So I'll start with this one. Now, this one's in between yellow and orange, so that's going to be yellow-orange. So I go to my fill tool, and I'm going to find something that's going to be sort of like a yellowish orangey color. If you can't exactly find it, you can actually come over here and click Custom, and then you get this gradient that sort of, sort of uh, pops up, and you can drag this over. And you can kind of go over to sort of like a yellowish uh, orangey color. Um, something like this. And then I can go over here and click it. And then that looks more like a yellow orange. And I'll hit OK. Now this turned into a yellow orange. Now in between orange and red, I'm going to do a red orange. So I'm going to go to my fill color. And I'm going to find sort of a red orangey color. Um, I, you know what? I can't find it. So I'm going to go to my custom and I'll kind of go to the red and then move over to the orange a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. And I'll click right here. And then you can see that this is like a reddish orangey color. You're going to do the same for this. This is going to be red violet. This is going to be blue violet. This is going to be blue green. And this one's going to be yellow green. Okay, so you're going to do the exact same thing that you did with the other tertiary colors. After all of this is done, you can actually, with the arrow tool on, you can highlight everything. Once everything is highlighted, you can come over here. Remember, there's the fill color, but there's also something called border color. The border color is actually the color of the line that is around that shape. So the fill is green, this circle, for example, is green, but the border color is black. So if I go over here, since everything's highlighted, go to the border color, hit transparent, all of those lines disappear. And now you just have a very, very simple basic color wheel. All right. If you want to change the colors of these triangles, be my guest. You don't have to, but um, I'm more concerned about these colors. I am making sure that you put these in order. All right, so um, go ahead and uh, work on this. If you guys have any questions, please email me or uh, send me a comment through Google Classroom. All righty, um, I will talk to you guys soon.